Hi everyone, hope you're well. So, what you're actually looking at is the Wind Radio uh, WRG69 DDCE Artemis uh, SDR receiver. Um, I can't quite believe that I've managed to get my hands on one of these. Um, in the UK, they cost £8,508, including uh, the VAT. So this is a very, very, very expensive radio. Um, when you read the uh, Wind Radio uh, blurb, they they sort of say that it's intended for sort of government, military, sort of professional use, broadcast monitoring, etc., uh, and demanding consumer applications. Um, so I should say so, given it costs well more than uh, eight times as much as the latest ELAD. So. I'm very, very excited to uh, to try this radio and see whether the price is justified by the performance. Um, it's quite incredible, really, to think it actually costs that much money. In fact, it costs more than a brand new Kenwood TS990. And uh, by the time you guys see this video, a you'll you'll have probably seen several videos on my Kenwood, which I didn't buy new, of course. I bought secondhand and part exchange quite a lot of kit to get it um and i will know how good this receiver is because um uh not even i could justify spending that much money i think on on this receiver um uh, it was given to me by um radixon who uh um have offered it to loan for me to um test it write a review for radio user magazine um which is why uh, i'm doing the unboxing video now um and uh, not publishing it probably for a month or two. Um, in terms of specifications, I mean it's fully loaded. We're talking it's eight gigahertz, eight, sorry, eight kilohertz to eight gigahertz frequency range, direct sampling, sixteen bit, two hundred mega, um, uh, two hundred mega samples um, per second DAC, uh, eighty or thirty four megahertz wide real time spectrum scope, etc. It'll record and process a 32 megahertz slice of the band um, and just all the other stuff. So, um, yeah, there's no doubt that um, it's a high spec radio, um, particularly in terms of bandwidth. Um, uh, but, yeah, it's very, very expensive. It's got two independent inputs. One for one for the range from eight kilohertz to eighty megahertz, and from forty three megahertz to eight gigahertz. So um, yeah, there's lots you can do with this. But fundamentally, to kick this off, what does an eight and a half thousand pound radio look like um, out of the box? So um, G three is I'm not quite sure what that refers to, but that's the actual model. So it's the G sixty nine DDCE. Is the, is the radio inside it. I don't really know very much about wind radio products at all, never used one, um, but I know that they have good reputations. So, what have we got? Well, this is the receiver, obviously. It's quite heavy. Um, heat exchanger on the top with a small fan. Um, First impressions, well made, uh, but it is basically just a box. Um, yep, WR G69 DDCE, tested to comply with FCC standards, etc. etc. USB 3 connector, so that's for connecting it to the computer. The two inputs 43 megahertz uh, to 8 gigahertz, 8 kilohertz to 80 megahertz. And then there's a um, uh, network Ethernet connector because you can sort of network this up and uh, use it remotely. And then 12 volt power. Other than that, and it's got kind of like a plastic case to protect the machining. So, uh, yeah, it's a nice looking object. Eight and a half thousand pounds. Wow. Right. Best not drop it. Uh, okay, USB 3 cable. So there you go. So that basically plugs in like that. It's got like um, 
two knurled uh, screws to screw the uh, connector in to make sure it's in there properly. A bit like a D-type connector on the back of an old computer. What else have we got in here? It's got some adapters actually to BNC, which is handy. Although I do have these, it will just save me searching around. Uh, mains cable. Something else I've got around here, several of, but again, saves me hunting around. You'd think, I mean, you'd be surprised, wouldn't you, if for eight and a half thousand quid, you didn't get a mains, a, a, you know, a mains power lead with this receiver so uh, mm, mm, mm. ah of course that's the power lead there'll be a brick right there so in here right and then we have a fcc approved 12 volt power supply made in china Okay, nothing wrong with that. So, so there you go. One power supply, USB three cable, the receiver itself. Ooh. And a couple of adapters which I, I do have these lying around, but um, it just saves me having to do a search. So, there we go. Actually, I wish I'd done that first now, because that's actually more tricky with the USB cable attached. That's all right. Okay. So there you go, so that's it. So they, for eight and a half thousand quid, it's what you get. So. Based on how much this radio costs, um, I am extremely excited, maybe extremely is too strong a word, but I am excited to, uh, to use this receiver because if the performance is anything like, well, if the performance is anywhere near a function of the price compared to say a thousand pound ELAD, um, then this is gonna be absolutely superb. And for the price, I suppose it needs to be. I know that it's kind of marketed towards military professional use, etc. Um, but the bottom line is, is that, you know, Red Ixon want to sell these to people like you and me uh, for the price. They have to justify it with absolutely amazing performance. So uh, let's see what happens. But uh, there you go. That's it. That's the Win Radio G69 DDCE Artemis receiver. Um, and uh, there'll be more videos to come, but not for quite a while because um, I've got to use it write a review, get that published, and then I can then retrospectively um, tell you a bit more about it via the channel. So anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, thanks for watching and 73.